Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is September 28th, 2021. I'm Bryce Castillo. You're here for the Great Night Green Room. That's right. It's the Great Night Green Room. I'm Bryce Castillo, and this is the Great Night Green Room, which you, uh, you're about to tune in for. Hello, everybody. My name is Bryce Castillo. I'm your pre-show navigator. That's what this is. This is <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great today. We got it. It's, a, it's totally good. Nothing's coming on everything. Hello, everybody. We've got a fantastic show, big show. We've got a big, great night show. Got a big, great show for you tonight. Um, uh, what do we got for you? We got uh, 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 guests. But we've we've got confirmed guest, to say the least. We've confirmed guest, possibly guests, um, and then we're getting we're 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 all getting ready to, for that free. For that free show tomorrow night that will not be live streamed to my understanding so if you're out there if you're like uh, <laughs> you're like hey it's being recorded but it's not live sorry i'm sure you will, i'm sure we will find a way to show you probably almost all of it at some point um but it's not it we're, we're i mean we're, we're doing it really mostly to just see that we can do it um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I think we're good on, on people showing up to that thing, by the way. I think if, I think we're, I think we're good on people showing up. I think we're going to have a good, good size audience. Hello everybody. We got a great show for you tonight. We're going to the green room, the green room with, uh, Brian and Justin and Brett and, uh, one of our, our, our confirmed guests will be there. Uh, coming up in the show, we got some stories for you. Uh, we've got a game. We got a new game written by one Justin Robert Young. And, and one Darren Kitchen. Wait till you hear what it's called. Um, so that'll be a fun one. I do have to write it. I have to send you guys to the green room. I needed to send you guys to the green room because I got to I gotta, uh, finish writing it. Um, but that's coming up. And then uh, we got something special in the, in the, in the C block for you. Uh, 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 our confirmed guest might, uh, 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 might give you a hint as to what that might be. So stick around, everybody, for that. Thank you so much for joining me here in the green room. I'll be back. I'll be I'll be back and Brack. I'll be the Brack show when I come back. Um, and we'll be doing some birthday borners as well as just a little bit of last minute talking here. So I'm going to take you now to the green room. Uh, green room, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, we Hello. hear you, Mission Control. Hello. 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 I'd like to speak to catering, please. <laughs> <laughs> we are currently orbiting high over uh, Greenland in, in the green room. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's got its name. You shouldn't be there. You should be in America, I think. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, everybody, if you are only listening, then what you have already heard is the dulcet tones of one Matt Donnelly. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers, cheers, cheers. Pink, pink, pink. Yes, yes, yes. The BBC's. yes. Of course, uh, Brett, the voice. Hello. Night. Hello. Uh, My okay voice is Matt. Your yeah, your your voice is. <laughs> I get it. I mean, you're all right. I how was, I I, I average three stars on Yelp. How was your flight? Oh, glad you asked. It was uh, fine. It, we wouldn't leave, is what happened. We got on the plane, and they're like, there might be someone from a connected person somewhere. He might come here. And I'd already lucked out with a no seat next to me thing. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, no, if this person makes their flight, they're going to sit next to me. So you, yeah. you take a dump we, in your we, hand, you smear it on the, the sheet. Southwest seating tactics. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I've he's got mine. Got, he's, got, I, he's got a religious. I'll, I'll, I, I want to hear everyone else's first, though. Yeah. Do you have a, a tactic? Uh, Southwest, you seat by yourself. Southwest. Southwest, yeah. yeah. Um, you don't get assigned seating. So every, everybody's got their own preference. On, on when you're getting in. And let's presume that we are going in at some point in late A's or to mid B's, yeah, right? well, which I, is like, that, sure. that's, that's an average. I say people are catching on to that cheap upgrade to get the A thing because we, we, yeah. we did that and then I still was A43, so I was like, whoa. Yeah. Well, uh, A30 and above is reserved for... Uh, uh, Sultan. Well, well, the, the, the uh, A-list members in the Business Select uh, yeah. uh, fair. So really, uh, I did pay for the uh, uh, early bird thing where it basically snipes itself the moment it's available. Yeah. Uh, so that's actually not bad. That means you were the, like the 15th person okay. in, in, in there. Then I feel great. Okay. 
uh, Thermos Jack saying that he likes the middle seat on Southwest. What? You're a monster. Sociopath. Monster. <laughs> monster. That's sociopath. Actually, yeah. actually, <laughs> hold on. Uh, may, may, may I? Uh, Thermos Jack, so first thing I do when I walk on is I ask how many on this flight. And then, they, and then based on that number, I place a bet because if it's, say, um, uh, I don't know, let's say 70 people so or whatever. It's what, one? Uh, oh, uh, 117 or 137, depending on the plane. Okay. Wow, I know what this is. <laughs> anyway. I love that. Wow. I'm just, I should have brought a pen. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but if it's low enough, yeah. you can make the bold play of going to the back of the plane and sit your ass right in the middle seat okay. and, and just wait, like, especially for any of those, like, like 5.45 a.m. flights or whatever. Yeah. It's like, this is like, this is all going to be mine. Yeah. Where you're going to sit next Next to me, yes. and so you could take that gamble. Okay. All right. So, Brett, what, I mean, what, what is your what is your strat? Any I, pro strats? I I I will usually pay the extra money. Okay. Uh, and then I Stop like telling people that I'll get the uh, <laughs> and then I'll get the window seat because I have such front broad of the plane, sh- middle of the plane, back of the plane. If I can get front of the plane, that's the way I want. So go. here's okay. the thing. Window I seat. hope I don't do any recon like Brian does. Yeah. Right. But I hope someone like Brett is in front of me. Yeah. It's exactly who I want in front of me. Because the ge- the gamble I do is I find a big guy who likes the window. Okay. Yeah. And I'm a big guy. Oh, oh. Now, now here's the thing. Yeah. That, so that then bet you sit changes. On you aisle. sit on the aisle. Yeah. Now, yes. okay. Up front, that's, that's yeah, not a very good, good no. bet. No, no, no. I go back. I usually, I usually look for just beyond the exit rows. Right. Because that's a on the Southwest flight, that's a sucker's game. The exit row thing. Okay, uh, except for the uh, one design the plane where the here, one seat gets the extra leg room. Uh, uh, one little minor tweak, uh, and again, this is a pre-COVID uh, scenario. Is um, so you know, Jack has already brought on two twins. You don't. Point. You don't want to. twins. Just crying baby twins. In a in a pre in, in a pre-COVID era, you would not want to be right behind the exit row because drink service starts on row seventeen. <laughs> so you want to be on wow. row eight. Uh, <laughs> See, and now I understand. I also understand why all these big guys kept steering me from behind to seats. Now it makes sense to me I, because they have an A, B, and C I section. Never, like I never for a moment thought about drink strategy. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Okay, now all right. If you really want drink strategy, what you do is you uh, 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 you you immediately run straight to the back of of the plane, and this is my I favorite can't tell spot. You how unsurprised and yet fascinated. <laughs> I am. Uh, you immediately. Well, you'll be very surprised and delighted with Brian's new ebook. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Southwest. Southwest tips for the amateur and pro. Yeah, I mean they, they don't Scam even. Have flight <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have drinks now but it was always like straight to the back of the plane i used to go in the very back row the most uncomfortable row thinking that i'd be able to lay across three seats until i found Which out never an option the, well, no. the oh you, you don't book early enough uh, you know what i'm saying no, no we're no, saying access physically. to all three seats oh got it me, me, and, me, and, me and you are, are small small boys <laughs> small, 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 small boys you guys can spoon look tight, at you guys tight, yeah, boys we can both we can spoon on one like <laughs> set of three. We, 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 we use that like bunk beds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the trays. That's a queen for you guys. But I, I used to sit in the very back row until I found out that the jump seat or the very back row is the only place that those back uh, flight attendants are able to sit. Yeah. And so I would like people would say, like, are you sure you don't want to take the row in front of you? I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. You know, oh, for and years I'm thinking, dick. yeah, exactly. And then I was like, oh, so now it's always next to last row. But but if you get in early enough, you got about five to seven minutes to do a little bit of chit chat early in the morning. And you're like, hey, uh, quite, first of all, use as much jargon as you can. Yep. Where are you based out of? What's uh, your thoughts on the war in Iraq? That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, and then if, if it's uh, Chicago Midway, you're like, oh, uh, 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 do you commute in? Because a lot of people commute into Chicago Midway. They don't actually live there. Then you say, then you, you begin chit chat about like, uh, 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 do you, uh, if, if it's AM, ask them if they like the AM shift. Comment about the fact that everybody's compliant. They're not rowdy. Not like those PM assholes. Am I right? Yeah. If it's PM, talk about, oh, it's such a party atmosphere. So fun. Everyone's really, really. <laughs> Cool. As fast as you can, mention that you're a magician. I have some advice for someone's going to court to fight a ticket. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and then mention that you've been up all night at an all-night drive, and your intention is to fall right asleep. Ask them casually whether or not you what their odds are as a pro. What do you think the odds are I'll be able to sleep? Well, okay, I'm going to sit in the middle, and then my goal is to just knock right off. Um, 
uh, 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 oh, once we get up in the air, uh, 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 just so you know, I'll be ordering a gin and tonic. That's that's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, here we go. I'm a good boy. And then you, and then I'm a good, I'm a good boy. Up in the air, I'll be snorting rails off of this crap. Yeah, Yeah. come on. So, so, and then the moment you're up in the air, fucking suddenly, like, and then he makes that disappear. (laughs) (laughs) Suddenly, a gin and tonic appears. Look, and then you're like, and then you lay down across three seats, and you you get the the precious one and a half hours sleep you're going to get before your gig. (laughs) Do you have you ever fixated on this enough that you? Like, weren't even tired, but we're playing this game anyway just for practice? Uh, well, that's how it started, for sure. <laughs> wow. uh, but, but eventually, like, it no, became yeah, course, baked it into the, the budget. Fucking, like, like, he knows how to run through that progression like John Elway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking natural. Like, like, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. It's like, I'm in the tight end for a four-yard <laughs> Yeah, <out>. exactly. <laughs> so he knows all the outs. He knows, he knows everything that's going to go on. He knows if they're tired. He knows that, like, like from the moment he sees the whites Ask, in their eyes. Oh, Ben. Franklin says I never knew Brian was such a plain asshole. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. what do you mean? I'm the I most think, courteous I think that guy. Might be a, like a gag, like a plain asshole. Oh, hold on, some asshole's calling. Uh, oh. hey, you're on the air. Who's this? Hello, it's Andrew Heaton. Andrew wow. Heaton. Oh shit! Wait, hold on, Andrew. Uh, hold on, we got to get you a mic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we lost the uh, connection. <laughs> Jeez, guys, you know, he's driving. He didn't make so, it for the really so for the stall because I had no question. <laughs> so like now. So, then, <laughs> so let's talk about planes more. Uh, so you ask them how long they've been flying. <laughs> Based on that, you make small talk about if it's if it's like uh, thirty years or more. You talk about the oh my god, the back when there was a lounge. If it's forty years, you talk about the go go boots. If yeah. it's uh, if it's twenty years, you talk about oh so you right after nine eleven, so much changed and and uh, 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 which by the, it sounds creepy. It's not. Uh, I know. No, I just love when you're actually. If we were to like, if uh, just download your brain into <laughs> like a like DOS prompt, it, it really like, is. It's a flowchart. Like, there's yeah. one. There's if one this that would... just says like, "Where were you on 9/11?" <laughs> Ernest. <laughs> it's like a Zork game. Also, yeah. Like, for everybody listening here in green room, we haven't even gotten to another airline. Like I'm sure. <laughs> oh, no, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's all, that, 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 safe to say that's your specialty, uh, Southwest. Yeah. Uh, uh, unless I can't, in which case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. Uh, so anyway, I, I have thoughts about Southwest. But but, but I want to hear Good. yours. No, no. <laughs> the only move I that I'd never even thought about drink service. I don't <laughs> I don't care about sleeping across the three uncomfortable <laughs> seats for ninety minutes. Um, <clears throat> so I do I do I just try to find another big guy and sit there, yeah. like knowing. And the person who sits in the window knows too. There's like a knowing kind of like nod of like, like we know we've what's established about to happen. The last option yeah. of sitting. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. We now are sitting next to the last seat that will be sat in on this flight. So if it is or isn't you know, we're gonna find out together if it isn't empty is the only move I have. And when it's and and honestly when I'm getting on the plane and there's only it's a three seater and there's a a uh, a a thin uh, a woman that's mm-hmm. sitting on at the window, I'm like Yep, I got the uh, I got the aisle seat. I'll take that for okay, you. Okay, okay. Where, where are you guys in general with with window or aisle? I'm an aisle person for bathroom access, or or just because you really like getting your knee banged into by the cart. I know I'm going to hit by the cart. I personally don't mind getting up and down from my seat. Okay. So I have anxiety if I'm so in the window like or asking the people, two people, to get up so that I can get out. Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of anxiety. So to decrease my anxiety, I sit in the aisle, knowing that I'll gladly sit up or sit down. And also, I get hit by the tray. I don't really care that much. I've become more of an aisle guy, especially if it's now that they don't do drinks on the flight. Right, right. So now I am more indulgent before I get on a flight <laughs> or right. on a layover also, or something like that. And it's like, I, I'm going to need that P access. And I, what I don't want to do is, is do the, like, tap, 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 tap. Yeah, gotta get could, up, gotta I get can. I, I also I want just one wanna... chance that I can stand up on the plane. It's a 50-50 shot, me and the other aisle guy, who gets to stand up on the aisle. Oh, that jump ball? I like that jump ball. Yeah. yeah. Stand while waiting for the thing to empty out. Some people sit. hate that. The fact that people stand up immediately when, when the plane goes like ding. I oh. think I, Isn't I that what? the purpose for the ding? That's what I always You assume. may now move about. No. Not just stand up. Like, that implies you can run up and down. Like, get, ah! no, 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 I'm 
no, I'm saying when you land. So oh, you're got it, got you're it, got landing, it. You're taxiing, and then finally there's like the and then yeah. people like immediately stand up. And some people it bothers the living shit out of them. I don't yeah, really understand. Yeah, they're like shit. I don't realize I was bothering people, but I am one of those guys. I am too. I'm like, look, I'm trying to I get don't fuck like, out of here. I yeah. don't like. I must be the only guy trying to make this connection guy that races up the aisle. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. What? I've definitely been in those situations though, where we're like, I I I don't give a fuck about. I, I'm down to where <laughs> I'm, I'm going to swim move through all this yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm down to where I've got I I've got my game to where I've got enough to Uh-oh. fit into a backpack. And I can be, and so I can just grab my shit and go. Yeah, and that's got, that's the one thing that I will do. It's like, all so right, Bryce. Bryce is in here saying, "Where are you going? The door is still closed. Sit down and relax." I don't want to relax. How about that? I want to get. I've You're not going anywhere. You're not getting out any faster. <laughs> no, I, no I'm, I'm, I'm jockeying for position so oh. I can I can I can uh, get out of this plane as fast right. as possible. All right, now now question: In this scenario, do you have luggage? Yeah, are you trying to get off the plane really fast so you can go stand in another line away for your luggage? No. no. So up until this point, before I became a magician, I've had no luggage. Oh. Now that I'm a magician, you always have luggage. Back of the plane, my friend. Because because ain't no point. Yeah. You, you can either you can either go wait out there or you can wait right Absolute, the fuck here. Yeah, yeah. And that thing is, I'm standing up not to like get out faster. I just want to actually just the actual act of standing up. Get 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 the blood flowing. Yeah. 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 It's just nice to stand up. And I'm a tall person, so I, I open up all the things for uh, make sure everybody gets their I open up all the things I can oh, reach. Jesus. Yeah, because some what, people what, are what amateurs what and they like they, they get out and they go. Oh, I forgot I have things up somewhere, and you're like, you know, like, dude. It's, it's all right. Can, 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 can we all agree that 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 the ultimate scum of the earth is anybody who puts their fucking bag in sideways? Like, like those things are designed oh, to go in yeah. portrait mode. I'll say I think yeah. scum of the earth are people who purposely do two la- two rows further back and put their luggage up, and then come back. So then when it's time to leave, they're like, I have to no get. No one does that I on have purpose. To- no, that's, that's, all I get is anxiety about that. I pay for every upgrade possible on any flight to make sure that I'm never doing that exact thing you just yeah. described. Yeah. The only thing that the only thing that's a total flight fail for me is if I have to put my bags behind my seat. Although I have. I mean, when I was traveling for business, I was just on a lot of flights. There are times where that's the only option. To sure. Do, right? Yeah. Where uh, I did like either alert the two people when I, if I was at a window that like, hey, I got to get up and get grab a thing real quick, or I would switch with somebody to sit in the aisle so yes. I could do that the thing. almost even like like pre Boom. like pre bing bong dart backwards jump up. Like yeah, grab. It's like grab a weird. My, it's a weird chess move. It's yeah. a weird chess move. You have to do it, or else like, now you're a total dick to everybody because you're trying to like, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, yeah. Excuse, excuse, me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There, there is one move that I'm surprised more people haven't uh, caught on to, which is um, if you don't have a hard sided carry on. You get to pack so much more in there. If it, if it, if it, mm. they're like, like they've got these cheap. They're basically duffel bags with wheels at the back. Sure. So you get to drag yeah. it along, and and it gets to be so overstuffed. And then and then you just kind of, yeah. <laughs> and then and squeeze it in, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's monstrous how much how much clothing you can put in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm just having yeah. So I'm a uh, where I guess I think I'm the dick on this. Yeah. Uh, someone puts their jacket. In the overhead, yeah, I think it's such a, a dick move. Yeah, well, just that the, yeah. I will then. Well, I don't. Like, I don't I, ask. I, 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 I don't talk. I put my bag on the jacket. Shove. Oh, <laughs> that is a dick move. That's not. No, I mean, I mean well, I don't know. It, it's a dick move in the same way that a subway jacket. continuing to go forward while somebody stands on the tracks. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Are we, are, we, are we talking <laughs> suit jacket? Or are we talking like 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 cold jacket? Yeah, like the jacket. A, a, yeah, if it's like if it's like a jacket that you would wear for because it's cold outside. Yeah. Then fuck it. That's meant to be beat up. Yeah, you, you yeah. Can, yeah. You can throw shit on it. Uh, I get the impression that it's all grist for the mill, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain point, this is all <laughs> grist for the mill. Yeah, <laughs> that, jacket that jacket, the jacket pulverizer. <laughs> yeah, no, there is no law on the airplane. <laughs> like, it's it's become Lord lawless. Hey, if yeah. I'm not getting uh, duct tape to the seat, I think I did a pretty good flight. I'm a good. Oh, I, I yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, yeah. mu- musical chemist says the middle scene in the southwest has the most under the seat room for your bags. True, that uh, is true. Yeah, and you know the uh, like uh, there was a Reddit meme that says here are the rules: uh, if you have a window seat, you get to lean on the window. If you have an aisle seat, you get leg room. Yeah. If you have the middle seat, you get both fucking armrests, <laughs> and that is the rule. And I, I fully support I that. I support that. Like yep. uh, because like I I always take window seat. 
And uh, man, when I was when I was touring and I need I knew I needed sleep, it was a uh, race to the back, get in the window seat, lean up, uh, throw up a hoodie over me, um, uh, sneakily grab a, a, a Listerine bottle filled with tequila, take take a drink, and then, uh, and then put it down and cash out. So uh, and then and then uh, even after we landed, not get up until I knew everyone else had left. So there were people who would get on the plane, sit next to me the entire flight, and you're <laughs> and then leave with never seeing my face, only yeah. knowing me as the hooded blob in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's really tired. I did that where I went to the uh, airport with my with my two children, my two boys, and my wife, and then you know sat down. There's a guy who's t- it's Vegas. I live in Vegas, so seventy percent of the airport is hung over for a morning yeah. flight. So the guy's like hung over the thing, and all of a sudden the only two seats open are, are those. So we just put there, and he literally just peeks, sees my two children sitting next to him, and he just reaches into his bag and he pulls out a full <laughs> blanket and he covers his own head. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, he looked a lot like, like you. you. <laughs> and you're like, I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm sleeping so hard. I was like, oh man, that is that's funny. Uh, man, I, 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 so now I just want to ask you a uh, 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 Vegas airport <laughs> stories because oh. I can only imagine that that is the, a the hardest a, part about going is the the hardest part is going home. We all know the feeling of getting on a plane to go home. After a long whatever you've done, yeah, and you forget, or I do every time that I live in a place where everyone's very overly excited, excited to yes. go. So you get in, you're like, all right, I got my, I worked out my all, I negotiated all my seating properly. Here I go, and all of a sudden, someone just is like, and the biggest, you know, I the biggest thing about going to Vegas is that people not only go there to be the biggest asshole they're ever going to be in their lives. I don't know what you're talking about. But they go there to try out being the biggest asshole they're ever going to be in their whole lives. Okay. Still don't know what you're talking about. So they're auditioning their asshole selves. On the plane. On the plane. Yeah. And so the first thing white gentlemen want to do for the first time, the most liberating thing they can do, is shout. Is scream things. Things they think that might be amusing to anyone. They just will start to shout for things from anywhere. And you're just on like, the flight. On the flight. For example. So like, 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 just like, for example. Vegas, baby. Vegas. Or like, oh, the money bus. Or like, you know, like, John's here. Yeah, John. You feeling yeah. good, John? You're like, oh. Because like, it's, tri- it's a guy's trip. Yeah, yeah, like, whatever. They just start shouting anything. And they just experiment with shouting. So the land is like, woo. <laughs> and if you're on like a long flight, if you're returning from like New York or the East Coast or something, yeah. some guys don't even make it the flight. Like they're drunk. And this goes to, uh oh. Yep. Before the plane <laughs> <Uh-oh>. lands. <laughs> and they're just oh, like. Oh, because for them, they're like, oh, the Vegas trip starts when yeah. they're at the airport. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, like, it's like they hit international waters the moment yes, they, they yes, hit yeah. 30,000 feet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, by the end, they're just like, ah, oh, fuck, man. And they're just like cursing and slightly and uncomfortable. And <laughs> like, <laughs> we got to move. You know, like all yeah. sorts of stuff. And you're like. You're an asshole. That that yeah. weak that weak sauce like you know, the touchdown. Welcome to Las Vegas. They're like Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> that's all they have left. I've, I've noticed the, all the that stuff. Oh really? Yeah. Because they're just getting too overserved at the airport. Yeah, they overserve themselves. Uh, by the way, that's a thing that nobody really talks about. Is uh, and it used to be the true on planes as well, but I don't know if there are red light laws. You were you were oh, a bartender. Right. Yeah, yeah. At airports, the cutoff. They don't give off. Fuck. No, yeah. no. They're like, like you're going to be gone pretty soon. Like, don't go for it. It. Eventually, it is, you become it cargo. It's always somebody else's problem. The bartender at the airport, it is the uh, airplane's problem. Definitely. Right. On the airplane, it is uh, uh, the Johnny Law's problem when you are going to your car and driving back home. Right. I got fired from my only New York City bartending gig for cutting someone off. Really? Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I had my Jersey sensibilities. I had bartended in Jersey forever. Yeah. I moved into New York City. Someone got me a job at Off the Wagon. I'm like in the 50s. Yep. And you guys just racking up like a $200 tab. And I was like, and he was like, just slovenly. Yeah. And I was like, I think you had enough, bud. You go home. And they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, he's I'm cut him off. He's like, this isn't Jersey. He's not driving. Yeah. That's and I was like, that's actually a kind of legit point. Uh, uh, <laughs> and 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 I don't know if if, it, if this is a national thing or if it's yeah. just a Florida thing, but when you're doing your bartender training, you have like green light, yellow light, yeah. red mm-hmm. light, and it's like if you are in violation of that, 
that's like the liquor license yes. for that establishment. So yeah. theoretically, what you're doing is, is protecting, protecting the, the liquor license, protecting everybody's job by saying, hey, you are clearly, if anybody, if this were some fakery, like kind of bullshit yeah. or somebody else was watching it, they could say, you pass these very clear markers that you are trained on. Although I guess in New York, everybody fucking knows well, somebody. And, and in Texas, it's uh, if you're the bartender and you don't cut them off and some shit happens, you are responsible, not even really? the bar. <laughs> it's the the bartender is responsible. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. I just want to give shouts out to Froyog Soft Server who says, "Get ready for some middle age flight guy talk." <laughs> yeah. And Mitzi chiming in with it. That was the last time Matt was my bartender. <laughs> <laughs> So how long were you there before you get canned? Were you, Three you weeks. Were, okay, so oh, you, were, okay. you were the newbie. I was the newbie, yeah, 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 yeah. by far. It was just, you know. And, then, and then as you leave, they're like, rookie move. <laughs> yeah, like, it was just was like, I, well, it, it was a, it was a, it was a, that was like my second shift. And then I was immediately relegated to the downstairs bar, like, private party only gotcha. thing. And then I was fired two weeks and into that. Just, and like, did you, were you actually fired or did you just not show up on the schedule? Uh, not show up on the schedule. No yeah. one would talk to me. No one told me why. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So I just was... That's happened I, to me a couple I became of times. A ghost. Man, sure. I, wonder why, I wonder why Andrew Heaton never called us. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on the mic situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him a call. It's a mic thing. I'm loving all these chime-ins. Yes. Andrew Heaton. Yes, it hey, is me. Hey, uh, 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 what's your what's your ETA look like? Seven twenty-two. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know why it's so funny to hang up on people. It's just the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Is that a you <laughs> okay. gag you have with anyone or with Andrew at all? Or? No, this, this is a gag tonight. It's yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just, your friend is being hung up on for the first time. Uh, oh, and Will repeatedly, because he knows it's his own silly fault yeah. for, <laughs> for leaving his keys oh. back at home. Oh, for the record, uh, uh, by the way, gang, everybody listening, this is supposed to be a show where Heaton was here the entire time. Uh, he was supposed to be here right now. Yes. Oh. Heaton is not here right now because he got how far out of Tulsa before uh, he realized? Uh, all I know is that it added two hours to his journey Oof. because he got far enough out of Tulsa when he realized he lacked the keys to his own house he was towing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and had to turn around and go back and get them. So yeah, he go ahead and uh, tacked uh, and two extra hours. While towing is really just that's brutal. It <laughs> takes longer to yeah. tow. Yeah, than, oh. uh, and, and, and and it's in a vehicle that he just had to fix because he realized he did not have a proper vehicle for towing. <laughs> so now he just tacked <laughs> another another couple hours on just for laughs. Learning curves. Well, our labs go. for that. I mean, look, that's why it's we're our doing. labs. We're, we're I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, motherfucker could have flown seat. southwest. <laughs> you should have listened to this podcast. I don't know why <laughs> I didn't? Like, like, you know, like uh, this guy could be just napping in the back seat. On God, goddamn side. right. <laughs> Here to Tulsa is like it's it's just long enough to be a major pain in the ass yeah. to, drive. To, to drive. Yeah. Like, but the man loves sleeping in a fucking trailer that he took from his car. Can't get enough of it. Oh, with that scam. That I'm, scam. I'm heading up that way in a few weeks. Are you? Yeah. Where are you going? Going up to uh, northwest uh, Arkansas again. Northwest Arkansas. Yeah. Bentonville? Yes. I keep hearing about Bentonville. Yep. Right, well, have, 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 we about already Bentonville. Talked, have we already talked about the crazy tiny town that they built in Bentonville that's for like like that's like super rich uh, uh, northeast royalty? I think that's just called Bentonville. Bentonville. No, 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 yeah. no, no. no, no. Yeah, uh, specifically, because what happens is... Is, is it Rogers? Well, well, Walmart is such a big um, uh, uh, account that what, they, what every big company does is they assign someone, uh, like no matter where they're from, they're like, you live in Bentonville now so there's this little tiny village where they have fucking full operas and shit uh because because everybody wants the 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 life of new york while living in benton right uh because they don't want to give it up yep oh, i should uh go on. i should go bartend down there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't cut anyone off and you see the same guy <laughs> <laughs> rupert murdoch <laughs> my shoe's worth more than <laughs> 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 It's like, don't cut him. Do not cut him, not off. Cut yeah. him off. By Do the way, not. spoilers for the new season of Succession. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
I don't want to spoil yeah. anything. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Are, do you Fuck watch off. Succession? Do you watch Succession? Uh, I watched Arrested Development. You gotta get it. Just stop. It, like you gotta, you gotta watch. I gotta it. get in. Do, do I do, just to. start? Should I, should just start with this current no. episode? No, watch, no. Start start with. Uh, uh, no, I was joking. It's not anything to do with that. But uh, uh, start with the beginning. It's fucking great. The cast is a murderer's row. Isn't Kieran Culkin just Kieran Culkin's uh, killing a, it? A killer. Yeah. So I, when I was watching it, it did not. I watched. I was right on board right away, only because at this time, my wife was like working in California, so I just was binging anything that was popping up, and so I was on. I was on it very early, and a lot of people got into it later. Basically, a lot of people were saying like after the fourth episode, get into it, that kind of thing or whatever. But when people were asking me, "Are you watching it?" Yes, and I'm like, I, I have a hard time telling other people to watch it. I said, "Me too." I don't know how to tell people to watch this. Like, it's about this really shitty rich family. Yeah, <laughs> like they're right. very rich and they're awfully shitty to each other. Uh, it's fascinating. I, I think the, the the amazing part about it is that I initially didn't watch it, yeah, mostly because it was an Adam McKay produced thing, yeah. Which I love Adam McKay. I think he's a great comedic director, uh, and he's done awesome like dramatic stuff more recently. But whenever it becomes a a, a, a socio political thing with Adam McKay, yes. it, it tends to be like unsubtle a, 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 a huffpo comment section. Yes, yeah, and yeah. So yeah. it's like. It, it's not exactly, you know, uh, a lot of shades of gray, but it's fucking great. And I was, like, so blown away because it's not like the characters aren't redeemable, but they also hate themselves That's and a, each other. So it dawned and me, so it's heading into the rich. third season, it's about to start the third season, I was like, oh, now I get why, why – I think I get it now. And that, like, we always said, like, more money, more problems, or money doesn't yeah. buy happiness. And this is a, is a shining example of, like, it's a beautifully explored example of, like – you would not switch places with any one of these people. Yeah. And they are loaded. They have they have more they can buy your life ten times over each character and you don't you You're like, I don't want yeah. that. There's, there's, I do you not want that. There, yeah. there, there's a great episode where one of them has to go because it's like a conglomerate. It's basically like Fox right. meets Disney. Right. So it's like they own yeah. theme parks, but they also have a big media thing. And so uh, one of the characters has to go do like training, like management training for the theme park. Like our wait, why? Why would a senior level? Because he's being punished. Oh, I get yeah. it. Okay, so he's, being, he's, he's, a being... he's the child of the, of the thing. So yeah. he's he's risen too fast. They need to humble him. And Got so, it. And so you've done no he training. Why don't you go do some? And training? like everybody is just thrilled. Yeah, <laughs> like, everyone's really excited that they're climbing the ladder at this company, and he is like ready to put a bullet in his brain <laughs> like, the entire time. <laughs> and it's one of those things where it's like it doesn't sound like a great premise, but like with 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 the way that it's acted, it's just fucking brilliant. It's so good. Yeah, and the second season they do one where they do a big rich retreat, which you hear of that these things happen, but you've never seen it personified in any way. Yeah. Rich retreat. So they just all sit down and order sixty dollar salads and like all the things that are happening that like So in other words they go to an airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like JFK but there's a golf course. The right, right. right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's, Anyways. it's awesome. And then there's like the high points of the series, which I don't even, I don't even want to, uh, uh, put a name to, but you see some of the, the, the psychodrama that goes on in their Rupert Murdoch stand in father figure character as he, as he begins to, to, you know, find out who's trying to fuck him and, and be just a total crazy person. It's yeah. Control awesome. room to green room. You've got five minutes, five minutes. Yeah. 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 Ready to stand up on the ding. We got five minutes. Five minutes. I'm ready to. Yeah. So, so here's a question: do, do 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 we start without Heaton, or do we do we hold the plane because somebody might show up from a connecting flight? Oh, we, we go. We got There's go. one middle seat for Heaton right between us, right here. Yeah. There's call him. Yeah. Actually, why don't why don't you call him? I, I think oh, I, I have my phone. So I, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. He's uh, like, right. I'm not answering this time. <laughs> here, you you can. Okay. Yeah. Right, there, there you go. People say the second season is bad. I didn't hear that. Hey, yet. is this Andrew hey. Heaton? Yes, it is. Hey, man, it's Justin. What's going on? <laughs> hey, I'm uh, driving down to Austin. I'm sorry that I'm going to be late. I uh, actually, I, I left to go get the scamp last night, uh, about an hour away from my, my apartment. Uh, slept at the cabin. 
<laughs> you fucker. You fucker. <laughs> You're a terrible person. You're the worst. Audio listeners. You are the just worst. just touched the, the hang up button with his nose. <laughs> We're gonna, you realize with now his the nose. main in show. In my defense, in my defense, in my defense, that story was so boring uh, I fell wait, asleep. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Think not at all. In my defense, I. Yeah. You not at all. In my defense, I was very oh, boring. Sorry. Boring. Uh, uh, hey, Andrew. Um, uh, yeah, uh, up, Justin's a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me? Should I turn around? I can go back. No. 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 Andrew, no. dad of this episode. No. We love you. We love you. It's just. It's. it's I'm just gonna pick up a couple more hitchhikers. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so wait, so when so so you're gonna get there halfway through the show. Well, so about so this is my, my clock, 7:22. So I'm, I'm figuring it'll wind up being like 7:25, 7:30. Okay. Uh, uh, so and I'm very sorry about it because it's it's because it's totally my fault. I'm an idiot. I I, I tried to leave on time. Yeah. How'd that work out? <laughs> Not at all, I Hours of being an idiot with keys. Well, look, we're all very much excited that you're going to be here. Yes. And, uh, we we certainly hope uh, you make it. I mean, certainly that's yet another promise. <laughs> wow. Like, like that you promised. All right, all right. That's time. enough. That's enough. <laughs> do, uh, Andrew, don't don't listen to him. Uh, look, you do nothing but 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 focus on 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 ten channeling. and two. Ten nope. and two. Nope. Ten and two, bro. Don't listen to him. Wait, uh, don't drive drive less safe. Don't no, don't listen. I mean, just. Drive safe and don't run that. Drive safe. Don't cannonball run it. I'm driving 95 right now. I'm going to get here at 722. We're going to make this happen. Okay, all right. All right. 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 uh, We'll we'll see you. Take as long as you need. We love heated. We love heated. We love hang up on him. He hung (laughs) up on us. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. Okay. What a rude piece of shit. Goodbye. Bye. (laughs) He called back to make sure he wasn't doing the bit. That's right. He was like, I will not be doing this bit. Everybody should tweet uh, at Mighty Heaton that that we love him. <laughs> yes, please make sure you distract him as much as possible. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, he's driving. Yeah, that's that's great. Great. That would be that would be pretty great. All of a sudden, next, it's just next like a... should be FaceTime, so he has to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, <laughs> is is there any other uh, shows that you're you mentioned? Uh, was that before we went live that you're diving into what we do in the shadows? Oh, well, yes, that yeah. was before. Oh, it's a good show. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I was uh, selling it to my friend who's an accountant, and I was saying, there's an energy vampire. And then he's like, okay, I'll watch that. That's also good. Also, why that show's brilliant is that like, that seems like a throwaway for the first few episodes. And then... It really, it really pays on. off. It yeah, just really, it really pays off. He yeah. becomes such an integral part of the show. Well, and, and in season two, they expand the universe in such significant ways. Uh, season where... two, significantly, it's a big upgrade. They, you see, they got a budget. Yeah. And it's yeah. really neat. Uh, season three, um, I'm glad they're still showing up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> season three, uh, man, I, I wonder what the difference between physical and virtual writer's rooms are. <laughs> <laughs> also, I wonder whether or not Matt Berry has other projects going on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do I do wonder that it does feel, I was wondering why the, the show was kind of like as structured as, as, as it was, but I do wonder whether or not there was like a COVID kind of like between the shooting and, and everything. Like, I don't know. The, the, the energy's a bit off, but uh, whatever. It's hard. You know, like with entertainment in general, right? You, we all, especially because we're in entertainment, you feel this need to be like, hey, everybody, we should grade this on a curve, right? We're all coming out of this. We're figuring this out together. You know, it's like live shows coming back. So I remember, like, we have the Smith Center in Vegas, yeah. which is the big stop for all the Broadway tours. And we're like, this is the year we fucking pony up and get those expensive, like, a ticket to every Broadway show kind of seat or whatever. Cause right. Because it's, it's like getting to know you and then they, again. And then they sent out the lineup of shows for the Broadway run, and we're like, not this season. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll t- I'll tell you what, man. Uh, Justin and I were talking yesterday about how, uh, man, it feels like the world's ready to spend some money. Uh, the the venue, the concert venue across the street from my house, yeah. across the street from my house. Uh, 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 the the upcoming concerts included uh, uh, Cheap Trick. Uh, <laughs> ludicrous and sticks, like oh, yeah. across What's the it? street. I know. I fucking bought. 
four VIP tickets <laughs> for Ludacris. Because uh, it's going to be the fucking best. All of these acts I came back. Everyone to come rip around. And then you have these larger hose. venues that are trying to make good on old contracts. Right. So there are larger venues that are like, we can't even look at new stuff until we get figure out what we're doing with the stuff yeah. that we postponed. And so then all these other venues are getting all these other big acts so, that normally so, wouldn't get. Uh, this venue in particular, for uh, five, six years now, they've been talking about how it's about to close and mm -hmm. become an HEB. Mm -hmm. And instead, and then suddenly, uh, not only is it is it every, it's 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 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night concerts wow. all the fucking time. It's a it's a twenty five hundred right. seat uh, open air venue. It's I, unreal. I get to go to a big concert, and I really want to go to one again. Uh. Well, hey, if you want to come back for Ludacris, I got, I, got, I, got, I got a VIP seat for you. There we go. Yeah. And now you know how to fly Southwest, so it should be cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how we're going to go out. We will All see right. you on the street. Back to you, Mission Control. See you in the All right. Woo. Yay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to... The Great Night Green Room. Hello, everybody. I'm Bryce. This is here, your pre-show and green room navigator. Navigator? Nav navigator? Navigator. Nav alligator? Crocodile. Uh, thank you for joining me here. Whew. Uh, by the seat of my pants here, getting ready for, for the show. Uh, we, uh, uh, <laughs> have a game. We've got a good game tonight. We have a legitimately good game. Corey, sit down and join me here for just a little bit here. We have a legitimately good game tonight. We're just talking about it. I'll say, yeah, no, uh, uh, because I think it's in the Twitch, Twitch channel. But it's yeah. um, uh, hacker or luchador. Hacker or luchador. That's yeah, fantastic. And so I think with this one, we'll have to do it all just by name. So they'll be given two names. One is a hacker, and one is a uh, a wrestler. They're not luchadors, actually. Yeah. They're mostly wrestlers. Yeah. I mean, re not that lucha is not wrestling. And <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, 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 so they're going to have two names and one is a wrestler and one's a hacker and they're going to have to see uh, which one it is so like if I get, uh, so like this is like the uh, one but then so they'll see the names and then I can pop up the picture afterwards okay. um, to kind of reveal and we and we probably know that Justin should do pretty well in this one right is there some tricks in here Justin will not be playing because he and Hack Five's Darren Kitchen made this game. That's what you say because yeah, no, oh, you can tell. Yeah, so <laughs> they really, they really, we've got Brian and we've got uh, 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 Matt yeah. Donnelly, so they'll they'll be able to play along. Because I mean, I got I got the answers here yeah. and and whatnot. But um, so I think I, I should have talked to Justin. I think this is something I should have talked to Justin about. It's like, how are we? What is our dynamic going to be? Because usually it's just me yeah, right? proctoring it, but he's going to know and he'll be on stage. So. We'll kind of have to play that by ear a little bit. Yes. I guess they're pretty good at improv. I guess we're going to figure this out, right? So, you know, I'm told that. I'm yeah. told I'm told that they're they're okay at the improv stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, we are doing by the way, okay, I, I didn't I think I did not get to tech talk this last week, but this is our second week. Yes. Doing Great Night as a three camera production. Woo! Technically four counting yours. I technically four counting mine. Woo! Well, because last week it was three yeah. because I didn't, I couldn't use this. I had to use the webcam. Yeah. So you know what's so funny? So I came in early today. I got here at about three. Yeah. And um, got under the desk here and was like, okay, you know, last week couldn't couldn't plug in the, an, an extra camera, so I had to go on the webcam and the yeah. webcam looks off. It was terrible. Yeah. So let's let's get down in here. Put the other. We got extra cards. Let's put the cards in the computer. The computer's got space. I open that thing up. There already was one in there. Really? <laughs> there already was. A, it was on the lowest uh, oh. on the lowest PCIe slot, so it was hidden under all of the other it. HDMI's. Oh, wow. But then, so I'm like, oh, it was already here. Why the fuck did I do this? So I went and go got some chicken. So I go and test it. Doesn't work because okay. those intensity pros, the way that they work, they're an import and an out port. Okay. Uh, but you can only do one at, at a time. You can either go in or you can go out. Yeah. And um, with those Intensity Pros, we've been using them for so long, and they've always had one purpose. Mm -hmm. They're either in or they're out. Yeah. And so that means that if the other port is broken or something, we don't really get a lot of flight time to check that. Yeah. And so I think that's probably what happened is, is that, because I know that some of those cards, not both ports work great all the yeah. time. So I did have to end up going under there and swapping the cards out, but... Um, looking good though. It's looking it's looking nice. I don't even think we've got as much alien anti, uh, look inter, how, interlacing today. Look how shiny I am. Oh I've been no, you're in the warehouse good. all day long. Oh yeah, that's right. You're, you're getting all yeah. getting everything. I'm excited to see you see what that 
stage looks like. Yeah, we we if anybody's actually seen our set, it looks nice on set but terrible everywhere else it's, because of all our <laughs> mess. It it is like what every stage or or set is, which is yes. it needs to cover the frame and everything else. Yes. We'll, well figure that, it out. Well, that and we're terrible on Modern Road <laughs> when when we because I I have to do all the builds up front mm -hmm. and then the episode starts, we film it, and mm. we're just like done. Right. Right. Like if we have no interest in actually like doing any sort of the cleanup uh, or anything. Right. I mean, we, we, we rolled in one day. Uh, we had, what was, we were doing something with the watermelon the day before or a few days, no, like a, almost a yeah. week ago before. And we roll up and I think it was Brian who uh, <laughs> showed up and saw the watermelon still there and all moldy. And it got onto the, uh, the building table, the table, the table yeah. that we use. Uh, oops. Yeah. And then Annalisa had to clean off mold from the uh, table. Oh, yeah. no. How was that? I had to get that. It yeah. was fuzzy. fuzzy. Who am I talking to? Yeah. It was fuzzy and gross, and it smelled bad, and it was like, I had to scrape it. Yeah. And it's still Ugh. somewhat there. I think it's a permanent fixture of the table. It, because wood is porous. And it's yeah. not even wood. It's like particle boardy stuff. Yeah. So that's, plenty that's... of space for stuff to hide. Right. It's really gross. But... <laughs> We have spent several days out there, and it is actually looking pretty fantastic. I'm, I'm, it I'm excited. It'll be good to use that space and yeah. try. It's, it's going to be. Uh, if, if it seems like we're we're harried a little bit, it's because we are a little yes. bit. It's this, yeah. this was when when we announced the event last week. It had been pretty much decided for about a couple of hours at that point. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was it was. Or I think I'm trying to remember how I found out because. Uh, I don't know if it was just like over Slack or something, but it, it was it was very like, hey, we're doing this, so, yeah. uh, so we're all gonna do our best, but it, this this will be this will be new for us because normally we go like we go to the north door, they handle the stage, yep. and the bar and seating and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but we've got that on top of we do want to do a little bit of filming filming of it. Yeah, we have to set up a whole audio thing. We'll have to we have to talk about like what. Um, one of the acts will need because that will det det dictate how much audio hardware we throw out there. Yeah. We run out that way. Speaking of, I need to make that text message right now. Okay. <laughs> well, you go do that. Thank you very much, Corey. Everybody, Corey Cranston. Thanks, everybody. Love you. <laughs> yeah, I think we had like 10 days. You want to sit? Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be accused of having people kneel. I wasn't kneeling. I was kneel crouching. before Brian. That was much. <laughs> yeah, I was crouching. It's fine. No, we had like 10 mm. days warning. And yeah. like I found out because Corey was like, hey, I need to tell you something. <laughs> and, and we're yeah. going to have a lot of work ahead of us. We have a, we have a very unique <laughs> communication style here at Bizarre Magic. We do. Um, and it's I, it, ever changing. It, it it is ever changing. It, it I think it was a few years ago when this trend started of like giving you the heads up of a conversation right before it happens. Like, hey, are you are you busy right now? Like, hey, are you like? Hey, it's hey, like code for are you in the right headspace to hear something there very some bad news? <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of that, I mean... but it's it's because every everything is usually kind of last minute or mm -hmm. you know we, we we turn stuff around very fast i mean yeah. we, we legitimately we do. do you know like most of our videos are very hand to mouth usually if you're watching them new they were fresh out the oven yeah God. pretty much <laughs> <laughs> um so uh that that happens a lot and and when it's videos right there's flexibility to, mm -hmm. to be like okay well okay we can move deadlines around and stuff but live events are so particular because you haven't you you have a very hard deadline the show yes. starts here people are going to be here and you need to accommodate them you need to like uh um, anticipate them yeah and this is the the first live event mm. since Corey and i have been here oh my gosh that's right yeah. okay yeah. you got you weren't at the wow oh my god. it's goodness. been some time some stuff has happened. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, Business Jim makes a very good point. This is Annalisa, everybody oh. that we're talking to. Hello. Hi. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know how to like succinct. I wouldn't know what to say your job title is. <laughs> I don't either. Because <laughs> like Corey, like Corey, thumbs up. Like you, are you still like oh, ops no. manager, ops director? So technically, my title is operations director. Operations. 
contractor. And then I believe she should be operations manager. Oh, oh. ooh, management. That That's is? right. Yeah. I, I have, yes, that is not <laughs> what I've been calling myself on email, so I need to update my signature. Ooh. Um, I'm yeah. Just, this is me. Hi. Hi. So you, you've been with us for a couple of years now? Two years? A More? while. Pre-COVID. Three or four months longer than John. So that will be. Wow. So. Wow. Three or four years, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. What happened to time? <laughs> that what has is been going on. <laughs> that's been a lot of, that's been a lot of the stuff that I've been feeling is like well it doesn't help that i like i'm one of those people that has to like set all of the alarms and i use pomodoro stuff to get things done Mm. yeah yeah that's been fun uh hey do you want to join me for some quick uh uh birthday birthday borners oh we can say happy birthday to some people we got some happy birthdays here this is in our discord uh discord.greatnight.tv we have a channel right at the top there it's the birthday borner you can uh post in there when you or a loved one have a birthday coming up just happened Whatever, We're, we've laxened the rules quite a bit. Um, so here are some of the birthdays that have happened since last week. Matt J. Awad said uh, that uh, uh, we he missed the birthday borner for him, but uh, Matt's dad's birthday was 920, so that was about a week ago. And uh, and then Matt's birthday is 926, two days ago. Happy birthday, Matt and Matt's dad. Happy birthday. We've also got Ghost. Sunday, October 3rd is the 12th birthday of my wedding anniversary. So does that make it the 13th? year or the 12th anniversary because it's oh, the, man. the full year thing right I, I like, think so 12th birthday of my wedding anniversary. I suppose oh. is the birthday the, the birth anna- the literal birthday or the first birthday oh right did you birth the anniversary at zero or did you birth it on the one year because it's oh. on the anniversary wow ghost oh, man. wow ghost I uh, think in any that. event happy uh, happy Happy birthday anniversary and her yeah, birthday anniversary. Oh, that's why he said it because it's the birthday borner. Okay. I was like, what? that works. It, I get it. it. Yeah, you don't. You don't need to. You don't <laughs> that need to makes kayfabe a it. lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? The f-? We, uh, we didn't have to. We didn't have to complicate that as much as we did. <laughs> Another Jay Martin uh, lets us know that musical chemist's birthday is this Friday, October first. Happy birthday, musical chemist. Happy is it musical chemist or is it music alchemist? Ooh. Kind of That's a, a good question. Kind of a classic Marvels meme. There I like it. either way. And we got Umbre, whose birthday is on September 30th. Happy birthday, to Umbre. Thank you, everybody, who submits your borners or the borner. Oh, oh, this is like the next couple of days, too? What is? Birthday stuff. Birthday stuff? Yeah. Like we're, we're wishing people happy birthday for the next couple of days. We're, we do it every week. I know. The birthday but what? I can't remember if it's befores or afters. Oh, yeah, it, it's either. It's okay. either. It's either now. Hey, well, oh, hello. She's right. absolutely Hi. not watching this, but happy birthday to my mother in a couple of days. Happy birthday, Annalisa's mother. Woo. 100% <laughs> yeah, no, we, not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Maybe she likes micro celebrities. <laughs> yes. Hello. Am I? Yes, what's up? Is this table here for for anything, or is it like put, a sacred table? You can put drinks if you'd like, or I can get rid of it. I assume. Oh, no, are you kidding no, me? This it, is like it, it, somebody the invented I, the, the hexagon. Yeah, I'd want to see for my amazing. entire life. This is an uh, this is an it's amazing what? table. It looks like oh. a stabbable table. Oh, stabbable. Okay, no, uh, this is stab it. Right, uh, thank uh, you. There's a stab story behind this eye. table. We'll, we'll find you another table to stab. No. This this ta- you see this little notch right there? This this ta- this table's been on the Tonight Show. And, Ooh. And, uh, and for exactly, Jay Leno has a very thin dick, and he three, fucked this table for, for exactly three <laughs> seconds. It was on America's Got yeah. Talent as yeah. well. You ever heard that? You ever heard this about my thin dick? I got a thin dick. I like to fuck tables. You ever heard that? <laughs> My, my you know, I hadn't heard about that no, or I seen didn't. that. <laughs> where, 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 where are you? We haven't started the show yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we heard this. Oh, yeah, we're not supposed to be on. Yeah, we're, tread, we're, uh, yeah. we're treading water. We're trying to slow down the start time. Uh, for. <laughs> are we trying to slow it? Well, then I was excited about Jay Leno's thin dick. I mean, we can we can go. I got... Oh, <laughs> okay. it's fine. We'll stay. Uh, oh, shit, now it's time. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on the pre-show on the Green Room of Great Night for September 28th. Um, all right, everybody. If uh, We're going to do some last checks here. If uh, uh, the camera person manning our Zoom camera, if you can... Uh, oh, no. You know what? Uh, can, you, can you zoom that out just a little bit more for me? I'm not sure if I set that or not, but I kind of want to... Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, let's see. Brian, you good? Yeah. Justin, you good? Yeah, yeah. Corey, you good? Yeah. Annalisa? Uh, let's see, Donnelly. 
Are you good? <laughs> He's like, oh, he's. You're not mic'd right now, yeah. Uh, and then, Fred, are you good? I think I am. Ooh, those dulcet, well, those dulcet tones. Those all right. Tones. Hello. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for joining me here in the pre-show for Great Night. All right, I think I'm ready to start the show. You guys want to start a show? Yep. All right, then. Fred, I'm going to count you in. Kate. In three, two, one.